Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 10th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, still observing the solar flares and filament eruptions. Amazing images still to look at. These will be documented forever with daily events worldwide. Looking at outgoing images here, pretty quiet outgoing sun. Most of the activity is coming in now and on the backside. Quick close look here. I love looking at the plasma dancing off of the sun. Also the plasma tsunami that ran across the sun from that plasma filament. Having a look here, multi-spectrum, all of the events, the last 48 hours on the sun. Amazing, and thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also observing here, no earth-facing coronal holes, a small one developing just after that sunspot in the southern region. As well, observing here, an awesome little sun diving comet coming in in the last few images here, able to see its last flight of life. A quick look here at Lasco 2. And it's amazing, even with this imagery from Lasco 2, you get that the classic look of a shooting star. Long tail behind it bright shiny star ahead of it like the ones that everybody draws the typical shooting star it's just really neat to to be able to witness this we are truly living in some pretty epic times and thanks to NASA and SOHO Solar Dynamics Observatory for making all of this possible cheers to you and cheers to everybody for watching right now Hope you make it to the end of the video. That's where the full five-day forecast is. Have a look here at our real-time solar wind right now, and we are still pretty low, sitting at about 344 kilometers per second. We had a spike up to about 380, but nothing major to talk about when in, in regards to our solar wind right now. Nothing is affecting us until we get our CME, which is definitely going to give us a whack. Nothing major but it is going to give us a whack. I mean, we are still lucky we didn't get the brunt force, but it is on its way in the next 24 to 36 hours. Looking here, no geomagnetic activity to talk about. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 16, kind of a healthy little buzz of energy, amplitude of 16 and a quality of 8.2. Frequency minimum is 7.44. Have a look here at the earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're going to start out in North America. As we did have some central quakes, but nothing major to report across the North American plate. 3.2 there in Texas. Channing, Texas as well. 2.6 there, White City, New Mexico. Victoria, BC, Mexico border. As well, Mina, Nevada, 2.5. 2.9 there. 2.6 Idaho. It's 
So yeah, pretty quiet North American plate compared to what we've seen, but we're still looking at about 260 earthquakes last 24 hours. Still seeing the activity through the Kuril Islands and into North Japan. 4.5 there rec recorded Shikatan and as well Mutsu Japan 4.3 Philippines a sizable 5.1 reported here today at a 90 kilometer depth as well Indonesia 4.7 4.4 there in Guam Marianas Trench 4.4 Port Orway and then the activity has come back to the Kermadec Islands, 5.3 largest earthquake the last 24 hours as well, a 5.0 there, Fiji Islands. So yeah, quiet 24 hour period, but we are seeing the activity come back to South America. As I talked about yesterday, it was pretty quiet. Well, it's back, 192 kilometer depth there, 4.0 rang out and a 4.5 Argentina as well. Three earthquakes through Peru today, 4.7, 4.2, 4.4. So I'm currently keeping tabs on the volcano Ubinas in Peru. As well, 3.8 earthquake here to report. Dominican Republic, largest earthquake of the week through that region. Quiet through Africa. Interesting, a North Pole earthquake here, 4.7 Greenland Sea at a 10 kilometer depth. Rick James Ridge on its way too. As well, 4.3 there, Afghanistan. And that's the last 24 hours. Pretty quiet. 260 that we're talking about for the last 24 hours. Let's have a look at the last seven days. You can see increased activity coming back to Central America, South America, and as well north japan into russia and i really think we need to keep an eye on african plate into europe and of course north american plate where we all feel that we're overdue central america eyes have a look at here pacific disaster center most recent volcanoes to update today active and erupting we still have 41 volcanoes Sinabung, indonesia most recent as well pacaya guatemala sangue in ecuador nevadas de chilean colombia as well suiza and Najima, japan fuego in guatemala sabancaya in peru la sufriere saint vincent Reventador in Ecuador. Now, that was two days ago. So, yeah, it's about eight volcanoes getting currently updated today for eruptions. And we have one tropical system to talk about. Andreas is still alive. And it looks here, they're saying it's going to head west. Well, we'll see about that. I hope it does. Because if it heads north into California, it could have a beast of a system developing through central United States in the long-range forecast. But... Even in the long-range forecast, it, uh, it is dying out. Lots of flood conditions across the United States. As well, storm conditions through the Philippines and Malaysia and westward into India. A lot of storms and heavy flooding. Torrential downpours reported through Pakistan. As well, Philippines and Cambodia. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who's been affected by floods and all natural disasters around the world recently. I was reading just overnight last night, there was about 3,000 people displaced due to floods in one region. That's just one region. 3,000 people lost their homes overnight. So here's a forecast from Windy showing the tropical cyclone that will be heading towards western parts of India, heading into the Karachi coastline next, or sorry, yeah, next Tuesday into Wednesday for the long-range forecast. Let's have a quick look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Morning Dew daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. Some 
fair weather nice today. It started out very chilly, minus 4, but it got up to about 11 degrees and no real strong winds to talk about. But these cool temperatures are sure hanging around a long time now. We are on May 10th, everybody, and we should be having some uh, at least April showers to bring some May flowers, but we aren't seeing any flowers here. Snow still falling in a BC region, minus double digits still coming down from the North Pole, and most likely southern Alberta in the long-range forecast, we could see quite a bit of moisture, kind of like what happened back in 2015. Overlooking the west coast, watch for a line of moisture to sneak through high-pressure ridge there for Vancouver. No real systems to talk about through the United States except through uh, Mexico and coastal regions, Florida. Cool, cool temperatures are just not going to let any storms happen right now. Overlooking the Atlantic, strange jet stream throwing these storms over and over again into Ireland, United Kingdom, and Europe. So watch for a lot of moisture to move in through all of Europe. And as well, watch that low pressure system coming out of Turkey to join forces in Finland with all of those low pressure systems. Interesting forecast, eh? To say the least. Overlooking the West Indies and Southeast Asia, only major weather system here to talk about is the long range tropical cyclone for parts of Western India. As well, daily moisture going through, falling through Myanmar. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, parts of Malaysia, Philippines. No major weather systems affecting you yet. No typhoons in the forecast. Overlooking Australia. Now watch these cool temperatures move in and watch them hang around for quite a while. Get in the comment section, anybody watching from Australia, and tell me if this is abnormal. We're looking at minus two here in the forecast for southeastern parts of Victoria. Big high pressure ridge, bringing up some really cold temperatures from the Antarctic. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if that's normal for May 10th. Overlooking New Zealand, you've got about Wednesday of high pressure ridge but rain is coming back and you've had quite a bit of rain recently overlooking Pacific Hawaii no meal no real weather to talk about high pressure ridge has pretty much dominated all the moisture and then a quick look at forecasting Andrus which will be dying out no major weather systems to talk about in South America. And no major developments in Africa either for the long range forecast. Much love to you all and I appreciate everybody tuning in. South Africa, watch out. Cape Town could have a low pressure system moving in in the long range forecast. I have a lot of African viewers. Get in the comments section and say hi. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching today, everybody. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. We could see some nasty, nasty cold temperatures for our next winter, which could actually be here a lot sooner than we think. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Much love, prayers for humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the